look, six, seven inches now. Look, right, seven, eight inches. All right, Marcus has picked me up. And this is the start of the road to revival. Bloody hell. <laughs> it's, it's pretty snowy. See you in a bit.
right <laughs> so this is uh my response to arcade club really so uh sorry it's been a while uh, <laughs> a week's worth of recovery from the drinking and everything um absolutely fantastic weekend had uh one of the best weekends um i think since uh you know uh, revival generation x when we sort of all met up for the first time me old school mark and all that i think that, that i don't think you'll ever top that weekend because uh, I think, like I say, with Revival Generation X, there was uh, some bonds built for life on that one. So, you know, <laughs> don't think you, you'll you'll better that, you know. So, but um, yeah, the arcade club beat. So, um, yeah, for arcade club. So, as you can see, we, um, it was all like weather warnings before Marcus picked me up. And he was like, oh, I'm not sure if we're going to make it. I thought, yeah, we will bloody make it. <laughs> I'm not going to not make it, like you know. So it was all um, about seven or eight inches of snow in Bristol. Weather warnings, you know. All oh, get your shopping in. You're going to die over the weekend if you got no food in. It's you know Amber Alert and all that and so forth. Uh, so we, you know, he, he he sorted the car out and got to me, and then we sort of set off. And and to be honest, it's crazy because once you got out of Bristol, there wasn't any snow really. It, you 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 wouldn't have known it had snowed uh, until we sort of got to sort of uh, Bury sort of Manchester area and all that anyway. Um, you know, it was sort of snow, loads of snow in Bristol, out of Bristol, nothing. And then sort of more up sort of uh, up north as well. And sort of a little bit of snow and all that. Again, you see it in fields and on the hills and things, you know. <coughs> so um, on the way up, we're in uh, communications with James. Uh, let's talk retro. You're right, James, mate. Uh, absolutely brilliant to uh, spend some time with you on the weekend. Really funny. Some funny stories coming uh, with that one as well. And... Uh, you know, and also in contact with Mark, um, Mark and Gareth, uh, Gareth at the Man Cave and Mark Burton Culture. Um, you know, those guys were uh, in communication on the way up as well. And um, also spoke to Cine Steve. Uh, he showed me, sent me the picture of it from his window, uh, which was, was totally clear. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, so we sort of all, all set off, we're all in communications. Um, and it was pretty smooth all the way out there, really. A uh, long, long old drive. I think it was uh, five hours driving um, altogether. We stopped off at a couple of services and things, you know, just to break it up a little bit, stretch the legs. And um, by the time we sort of got there, we as we arrived, so we arrived at about half past four, I think. Um, as we arrived, we seen Stu, Tootie, Daz and all that. And they, 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 they'd been hitting the sauce, I believe, from about half half twelve, I believe um, Dane Stowe was the first at the bar, <laughs> and uh, and he was definitely the last man to leave. I can tell you that. And uh, yeah, so uh, as we arrived at half four, them lot have been drinking in the bar from half twelve to about half four, I believe. People obviously people turned up and things. Uh, so they were all coming out. They're already half cut at half four. He said, like, and uh, <laughs> he said, "Where are you going?" He said, "We're all going out to Wimsby." He said, "All right, well, we've got we got to meet a couple of other lads here." We'll catch you up in a bit. <coughs> Sorry. And um, so basically, got in the hotel, found out where our room was, got into the room. Uh, really, really nice, nice uh, room, actually. Really nice, big, bigger sort of room. And um, really, really nice big room it was. And um, so we got in there. I rang up um, James. Uh, James was, uh, I didn't think James was arriving in a bit, or he'd already arrived. Not, not 100% sure. But he was going to come come to our room in a bit, which was cool. And then obviously spoke to, spoke to, to, to Mark and Gareth. And they were sort of um, en route as well. And they weren't too far away. So I wanted to meet up with all these guys. Because, um, like, you know, sort of... We always sort of... It's good to keep in contact. good to keep together, really. So it was really cool. So um, obviously I had quite a few pickups for Mark. Uh, that Mark had purchased and arranged to buy off me in the week. Uh, well, actually, over the last couple of months, which um, he was he was pleased with and everything. Uh, uh, let me show you in the pickups. So I think he's already showed you in the pickups, actually, if you've watched the video. If you're not, go along and check check Mark's video. Uh, but Mark, with the pickups at the moment, he's uh, I think he secretly won the lottery or something because he's he's doing a lot of pickups. So if you want to see some real nice um, retro gaming pickups, go over to Burnt Out Culture's channel, and he is he is killing it with the pickups at the moment. So. But yeah, so we all sort of met up, and then like James came in, and and um, you know we we're having a chat, and it's good to see James and everything. And then Mark, Mark and Gareth turned up, and uh, they all sort of came in the room. And then Mark was like, "Oh, I'm a bit tired. You know, you've been driving five hours. I might not go out there tonight." He said, oh, "I might just go tomorrow." 
Um, but Mark was driving anyway. Mark said, oh, it's all right, lads. You can all jump in my car and drive you out there. So Mark was an absolute legend doing that. And uh, <coughs> Marcus just went up and well, drove out there and just uh, stayed, stayed in the hotel room. Um, and uh, just had a, a quiet night in the hotel. Was, we all went to Arcade Club then. And um, Arcade Club, uh, absolutely fantastic. Um, really, really good. Sort of got there. I think we got there just uh, as it opened, actually. So as we got there, we seen all the other lads. They'd obviously gone from the pub. So we all sort of connected at the same sort of point. And um, got in there. It's, it's a really, really cool. So we weren't queuing long. We were pretty much in with about 10 minutes, I think. And uh, you go up a lot of stairs. So I had to take new breath. I think about three flights of stairs to the first level, which was um, like a... Uh, it's, it's got like a bar and a food area and all sort of modern stuff. So I would say like the Japanese arcades and uh, modern sort of stuff. I didn't really spend much time on this floor. Uh, also had VR units and things like that, which was pretty cool. Really, really sort of good stuff. But for me, I was going there for the for the retro, really. You know, um, there was some cool stuff and some good modern stuff. But really, I, I, I probably spent, you know, an hour on that floor maximum and a whole, a whole weekend we were there. Yeah, so like you so say, we went on the first floor. It was all the sort of Japanese and uh, modern arcades, um, and you know they had obviously the latest one with Darius and that, and all the lads sort of jumped on and had a little go on that. The, the Darius uh, Darius bursting in with three screens, so three of them jumped on that. I said, "Jump onto me." So it was, so it's a four player, but I don't think I could squeeze the cab with them as well. I got on the PlayStation, I've played it before. Um, so I watched them, them lads play play that and saw there's some pretty wicked uh, CRTs, big old, about 28-inch or 32-inch CRTs with a couple of, uh, <coughs> with a SNES and a Maker Drive set up, which is pretty cool and nice to see. Um, so yeah, so then um, then we went where it was sort of really where everything was happening really, which was uh, the, the, the floor up for that class. Class is a third floor, obviously you pay on the first floor. Second floor is, is the, like I say, the Japanese and uh modern sort of stuff <coughs> sorry and um and and then, and then the third floor is uh another sort of bar and seated area and then you have the uh the the sort of i would say 70s 80s and 90s arcade machines just absolutely brilliant um as you saw saw in the clip the clip was actually a little bit longer than that um thanks to Cindy steve as well he sort of shortened the clip and put some music in, in there um for me Ironically, he put the uh, Double Dragon soundtrack, which was actually the only arcade, really, that they didn't have there from sort of growing up, really. Um, they had Double Dragon 2, but for, for me, it's all about the original Double Dragon. Um, but yeah, they, they pretty much had it all there. There wasn't much they didn't have that, um, that you know, there, there was obviously a few, but they, 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 very impressive what they did have. Um, I think for the whole thing, I think Steve said like 300 machines they've got there. Um, I'm not sure if it's just in that room or it's just the two floors, but yeah, they've got most things you'll be looking out for. So really, really impressive. All the machines are on free players, really good value. So you know, sixteen pounds to get in. Um, that's you're all you can play all the machines. Go to both floors. Um, the drinks are very reasonable. I think it was uh, three pound a bottle. Um, also very handy. You didn't have to have cash. You could uh, pay by card, which um, was dead handy. Just minimum spend is a pound. So, and and the food, the food, um, what we tried, they were doing sort of pizzas and stuff downstairs. I was a bit oven and hard about it. I didn't really want to, you know, eat the food there really. But on, on the Saturday, I actually did try the, um, the, the burgers and the hot dogs and everything. They, they were fine. They were nice. Basic, but clean food and edible and didn't make you ill. So <laughs> that's what you want really, isn't it? It's just all cheap and cheap beer, cheap food and, and good, good, good company and good entertainment. So. Yeah, so the Friday night was absolutely brilliant. Every, everyone and anyone was there. Unfortunately, two two of our two of our clan couldn't make it. Obviously, um, Mr. Bads really uh, missed you, Paul. Um, it, it, well, it would be really nice for you to make it out there. So I think you'll really enjoy it in there. Um, and obviously, old school couldn't make it either, which I was is gutted about, you know. Um, so you know, I was missing missing those, but we were having a good time. Everyone who else was there was all good. Um, chatting to absolutely everyone. Um, the first night I didn't really do much playing in the arcades. I, I um, basically done a lot of drinking, 
talking a lot of rubbish. I've already apologised to Gas and Steve because it's the first time I've ever spoken to him. Just end up talking to him about some absolute rubbish, you know, and uh, just probably making a fool of himself, really. But he's, he said that's all right, you know. He says he does the same thing anyway. So it's really nice to sort of get to spend a bit of time Gas and Steve and chat to him because we've sort of seen each other at a few events, we've obviously spoken Bristol and things. But nice to get to spend a bit of quality time. Perhaps have some a bit more intellectual to talk about next time, mate. But I don't usually drink. Uh, um, when, when, I, when I do drink, I get a bit excited. So I start, start talking rubbish and gibberish. So, but yeah, so that was really cool. Um, got to meet, um, to like I say, all the usual suspects were generally there. Uh, but a few few people I hadn't, I hadn't met before I mentioned as well. Um, got to meet champion 2D Rob. Um, a mountain of a man he's absolutely such a nice polite and really nice fella really really nice geezer like you know you imagine if he kicked off he'd be a blooming handful I expect he could pick me up and chuck me out of a club like you know but a really really nice gentleman of a guy he actually came over and introduced himself and you know said I'm Rob and all that I said oh nice to meet you Rob and that and even when he left he, he, he made sure he came round and Shook me hand and said, "I'm off now. I'll, I'll see you," and all that. And I just thought, "What a, what a nice guy!" Like you know, a really sound a nice guy. Um, yeah, ev everyone was there. Obviously, Daz was there too. He was there. Uh, Shocks was there. Um, you know, it was uh, absolutely brilliant. Got to meet Holster. Uh, yeah, she's she's tiny like too. He says, uh, "Really, really cool chick." Um, she was uh, playing on all the games. She was sort of more playing. I suppose that's what it's about, though. I mean, uh, but for me, I'm the, like the 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 the, fri the Friday was just getting absolutely levered. Really, um, I played a couple of games. Um, I did. Uh, the, I completed um, Golden Axe. I'd done it on. I think I got onto Death Adder with no no continues at all, uh, and I used two or three continues to to kill Death Adder. He always gives me a bit of a problem, but after um, uh, about ten of those IPAs that Gareth drinks. Uh, yeah, it was a bit of a problem, <laughs> but, but I was still quite chuffed I completed it. Um, <coughs> another machine I really sort of liked as, um, that I was playing there was um, Super Pang or Pang 3, maybe, Buster Bowers 3. Really cool, real good spin on the sort of Pang uh, genre, so really enjoyed that. But sort of just going around, seeing who's in there, you know, have a bit of a chat, look around, reminiscing about all the machines and you know what ones I recognised and all that, and I was I thought my knowledge was pretty good. I recognised about, I'd say about eighty to ninety percent of the machines I was aware of. Like you know, there's a few machines I didn't know, which is quite good really. Um, yeah, so to, to Friday, the Friday was just it was just mental. It was just drinking. Everyone was there. One thing I did say is we should have um, we should have done a, a a picture. We should have done a picture of everyone in it, and. Um, you know, because I've got a feeling that's the biggest UK um, UK retro gamer UK meetup that we've done. I know there was forty plus. Now. I th I'd, I'd say it's between forty and fifty of us, um, and that was uh, it was it was absolutely fantastic. So really, just enjoy. I was just drinking and, and and just making a fool of myself, enjoying myself, and not much arcade playing, but just you know take it. What a good venue. Um, you know, Stu was Stu was absolutely levered. Uh, he's he he was having a way of a time. He was making making the most of it. Uh, I mean, he, he picked some guy up about the same size as him, and he ended up slipping back and nearly dropping the bloke. And he was just really getting into it. He 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 was loving it, and uh, you know, he he, he was showing nothing but love to everyone. <laughs> and he's just an absolute absolute legend. And uh, so the Friday night was great. So, like I say, I, I, I'll explain more about it. But I was a bit sort of uh, a not so not so copious mentor. So I was a little bit drunk in myself, and I was certainly making the most of it as well. And uh, yeah, so the Friday night was absolutely roaring success, and really, really, really enjoyed it. Right. So yeah, so Friday was absolutely fantastic. Uh, we actually have um, me, uh, Mark. Uh, James obviously Mark wasn't uh, drinking because he was driving, and he had to be back for the next day. So Mark could only attend the uh, I think yeah could only attend on the the Friday. So uh, yeah, so Mark drove us all back to the hotel. We went sort of back at uh, to our hotel room, and uh, <laughs> after a little while, I think the the hotel security came and uh, 
that said everyone had to leave our room because we weren't like guests after 12 or something so we, I suppose we made him a little bit noisy but he was he was so polite about the hotel security he's actually apologising to us so that was that was really really uh sort of really nice hotel really clean it was sort of near, near the sort of um the, the train station or the tram you could hear that coming a bit but it didn't really it wasn't really too bad uh, but really nice clean room um and, and really comfortable so uh, yeah we woke marcus up and then obviously to chat for a bit we brought food back and you know sort of stood munching out on on, uh, on um, dirty kebabs and that and uh why well, well, actually before the kebab and that was all right a couple complained and i know uh scott glory hunter he he, he enjoyed the kebab. he actually went back to the same kebab shop the next day so uh that was uh that was cool so uh in Gareth's video, there's a, there's a brilliant picture of Lewis. It looks uh, it's, it's, it's like you know, Lewis is in front of the prices menu. It looks like he's always always working there. Like I said, I said to Lewis, I said, you seen this video? Because uh, Gareth put his up on the Friday night. But yeah, Lewis was there as well, uh, Wish Wash. It's good to see Lewis out and about as well. And uh, yeah, we had some real quality times with Lewis chatting and, and, and having a laugh. And all. It was really, really good. So it's good to see it. It's good to see it, Lewis, if you're watching. And, and uh, I'm sure we'll see it at more events as well. Um, and yeah, so it was, it was Friday night was absolutely fantastic. So, um, so the, so the Saturday, so the Saturday morning comes, and obviously we've paid for breakfast in the hotel. And Marcus is refreshed now. He's 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 uh, so right going down for breakfast and I'll, I'll quick wash and everything. Get changed. Go down to the hotel. Get a uh, get get the breakfast in. So so I was sat there and uh, sort of I think. I think Dane's is there and he's 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 looking fresh, you know. He's he's not nothing wrong with him at all. He, he he's ready to go again, like you know. He's he's a guy's a guy's an animal when it comes to drinking. I just never knew no one like him. But so he's he's you know the first there and the last to leave. But um, so he's there. He's having his breakfast in the morning and we're chatting and eating away. And uh, Stu comes down. <laughs> Stu comes down, and it's you know it's that thing, and it's the morning after the night before, and uh, all I can say is uh, Stu coming down reminded me of this. Yeah, so Stu's coming, and uh, like I say, he just reminded me of, like the, the Terminator there, where he, he's um, or you know, he's he's coming, and he's he's uh, he's absolutely battered, and he's he's uh, apparently bruised black and blue. Uh, he's walking with one leg, and he's dragging his his other leg behind him. So um, I said, you know, I uh, reminded me of that Terminator scene, absolutely brilliant. So, you know, he sort of walks with one leg and drags the other, and then he walks with one leg and then drags the other. Uh, you know, I said Stuart fit right in down our way because he's walking like a pirate now. So if there's any pirate auditions, uh, he, he'd get the part, like you know. <laughs> so, yeah, but he's, he was having a laugh about it. So I sort of said to him, you know, what have you, what have you bloody done? And he said, he said, I don't know. I said, you, you know, he, he said he's, he was covered in bruises. So, um, but yeah, so uh, he, he was all bashed up and that. And uh, I thought, well, what are you gonna do? Like you know, that's that's. That's your weekend over, isn't it? Like, you know, I mean, he really was sort of struggling to walk, like, you know, just how are you going to carry on, like, you know? And uh, it, 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 this for me, it's like, you know, he, he, he's like, you know, <laughs> there was uh, there was clubs, pubs and parties to attend and he'd be back. <laughs> yeah, so for me, he became the tutonator because he, 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 he toughed it out and uh, he, he went to the arcade club Saturday night uh, and they even they even carried on drinking down the town and that. So you know, I just thought, what an absolute legend. You know what I mean? Me, that'd be it. I'd be in the room. I'd be like, oh, I'm duffed up. You know, I got I got to, got to stay in trying to heal up or whatever. But he, yeah, he was straight back out on it. Absolutely fantastic. So uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, so sort of, um, 
in 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 room, I went up, we had the breakfast and all that. And so after a bit of food for our, getting a few hours kipping, going up our arcade club a bit later. So we went back up to the room, sort of uh, head down for an hour or so, and got up, sort of um, rang old school and that. And so I said, yeah, you'll love it down there, mate. It's it's really good, you know. It's really really good and all that. He said, well, actually, you know, he's managed to get done what he had to get done and all that, but a bit quicker and everything. And he he's you know he's only a couple of hours away. So um, he he might just uh, come on up for the drive on up, like you know, bring 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 his better half and that. Uh, if she was up for driving and she she fancied a day and all that, he, he'd come on up. And I said, well, yeah, that'd be brilliant. It'd be good to see you both, you know, have a laugh and everything. And uh, so he 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 then took the mission on and and, and drove up. So uh, by the time we actually got to arcade club, it was about um, two half two, I would say. Uh, trying to kick Marcus into gear, he's he was. He's really slow, and unfortunately, that was probably about the wrong time to sort of hit it. Is apparently sort of change over time. It opens at eleven. We got about two half two, and that's a sort of change over period. Apparently, where a lot of people have gone there for eleven. By two half two, they sort of want to leave. Um, so, but when we got there, it's full capacity. So we were probably queuing for about twenty minutes to half an hour. And then we were back in, so, you know, but at the time the queue wasn't moving very fast and it looked like, you know, could be a nightmare, but they, they dealt with it pretty good. It was a one-in, one-out situation, but, the, yeah, they, they, they dealt with it pretty cool. Um, and so I've obviously got it now, and, and uh, uh, Marcus sort of having, having a look around and doing his thing, and I sort of uh, just went up, I think, and got, got, got a drink at the bar. Yeah, so I saw Lewis, and <laughs> Lewis came up and sort of said hello, and all that, so I got, got a drink and chatting to Lewis. And um, I thought so that was when I said to him, have you seen this picture of uh, your and Gareth's video? It looks like you blew me work at the clubhouse. And we're sort of having a laugh. He goes, oh, God, that's not a really complimentary picture, is it? You know, we're sort of having a laugh and a, and a, and a giggle and that. And, uh, yeah, so we was chatting and a few other people's coming over and in and out and all that and sat on the sofa and that. And then old school arrived, which is absolutely fantastic. So I was there with my brother from another mother. And uh, his better half was there. Binty was there. And uh, we was just... They were sort of having a look round because obviously they hadn't been there. I sort of carried on drinking and, you know, they were sort of mulling about doing their thing and uh, having a few games and then coming back and, and socialising. And that was it, though. Me, me and old school's on the old source. And just having a great laugh, uh, you know. And Binty's there. Absolutely, you know, his first lady. And uh, she's she's great. She's golden as well. Really, really cool. And uh, so, you know, that I'm, I'm in my element and I'm, I'm, I'm with me with me brother and uh, we, we're just having a great time, just uh, supping up the beers and just having a fantastic time. Saying hello to everyone sort of coming in. Um, uh, Craig from Revival came in, he said hello, uh, had a good uh, sort of chat with Craig. Uh, ever such a gentleman, I believe it's him and his wife and real great people as well, absolutely fantastic. Uh, run Revival. And for me, uh, Revival will be the next event that we're going to. I believe it's on June June the 15th. I'm not doing any, any more. I'm doing more selling on eBay. Slimming down the, the, the stuff that I don't need and, and, and putting it back into the collection and, and, you know, recouping on funds and things. So Revival will be the next one for me. I believe it's June the 15th and 16th. Um, so, yeah, that's the next big one I'll be going to. But So back to Arcade Club. And... Um, yeah, having a chat with Craig, so having a chat with all the people coming in, drinking with old school, absolutely fantastic. James is there, you know, everyone's coming and going, and uh, it's really, really good. So um, we probably stayed in, we sort of having an eye and maybe go back to the hotel, have a few drinks, maybe go to town. But we thought we'd just stay at uh, Arcade Club and sort of till roughly it's sort of finishing. Like, I think finished at 11. So we sort of had a few games, you know, mainly drinking and socialising. And then went back to uh, went back to the hotel. Um, on going back to the hotel, uh, it was a few lads drinking in the bar. Um, Pete on a retro tip. Uh, Champion two D Rob again. Um, Big Daddy Paul C. And uh, you know, and and a, and a few others. And uh, oh, Shock sixteen was there. Obviously, Adam was there. Shock sixteen. Uh, it's just it's just really good so they were all sort of sat on another table so we've sort of come in uh james is us says me old school old school's better off binty and uh and james so we're all there we're all chatting and uh i remember um so we're all sort of sat there and, and uh it's just this is pretty good so like 
I'm facing old school, and uh, behind uh, old school is Big Daddy Paul C, um, sort of facing sideways. He's you know got the side profile of his face. So uh, we're drinking and we're laughing and you know and old school's going on playing at a Nando's the day before. So we've obviously been on the sauce and that, and uh, you know and um, so I can see sort of. Uh, Big Daddy Paul sees sort of facing sideways, you know, so I can see sort of a side profile of him. And uh, old, old school let off one of his trademark uh, um, bottom burps, shall we say. And I heard it, and I was like, oh, you dirty bugger. And uh, he's sort of laughing. And uh, it, I just, this is just, it just creased me up this. Because I could see Big Daddy Paul sees side profile. And I could see the moment that old school's internal stench hit Big Daddy Paul C's nostrils <laughs> and uh, it was just a sheer face of disgust I saw when he sensed it, it oh oh like you know the, oh you know just a, a, a repulsive face a, a face of disgust that was it I was dying I was like ah let me know like you know and um old, old school's laughing and all of a sudden, like, James is there. And James is, he goes, God, we've all had a few sources. And James is a little bit shy, and he so. Anyway, uh, oh, Jesus, uh, like, James was like, Jesus, James, that stinks. Old school's like, bloody old James, have some respect. You know, that's vile. And, and James is getting all embarrassed and that. And he's like, it, it wasn't me. It, it wasn't me. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we're just we're just making it worse, like you know, blaming him, and then he just got on, you know, it wasn't me, it wasn't me, and uh, it's just brilliant, absolutely fantastic. Uh, it was it was absolutely absolutely superb. But yeah, just uh, I was going to put uh, if I had better editing skills, I'd have you know Shaggy playing with it wasn't me and James popping up like you know, but no, James is a great guy, absolutely laughing. <laughs> so, just that was just brilliant. So. You know, but really, really cool. Um, great time. And old school started, uh, got into chatting with uh, uh, Chubby Atuli Rob about, um, I didn't know he'd done videos like this, so I might have to actually have a look. It's a bit out of my field, but about uh, the Wu-Tang. I think he uh, said he's watched some videos that he's done on the Wu-Tang Clan. He's quite knowledgeable and he's done, uh, well, like, a part one, but never followed up with a part two. And uh, they sort of were having, sort of, uh, you know, going on about that and, and that was really cool, and they were sort of having a good chat and everything. And um, everyone's just chatting and having a good time and a good laugh and everything. And then, um, oh, uh, Razzmatazz, uh, uh, Raz, Raz Tender, I think he's called now. Um, he's from, is he from Sweden or something? He's, he's, he always comes from across the water to come to these events and join us. Uh, and it's the first sort of time I've had a bit of a, a chat and a, a, a Bit of a talk with him, like you know, he's a real nice guy. Really puts in the effort to come to these events in England, you know. And uh, he's come back and he's 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 three sheets to the wind, and he's he's got a bag of food. He's goes, he goes, I have food. He's got his bag. Of, I have food. I have food for you all. I have chicken. And then he sits down. And then, <laughs> oh, nice one, mate. Thank. Uh, he can sit down. Uh, he offers off all the chips, like, you know, and uh, I'm not a chip person, although you may, I might look like a chip person. I don't really eat chips. I just think that's the bit they put in the meal that, you know, it's just cheap and, you know, the main part of the meal, everything just gets chips out of doesn't it? Like, you know, so we offered out all his chips and that, and uh, he, no one really wanted the chips, but <laughs> he sort of said, he was telling us about, he, he'd been out clubbing and that and there was these English women and they kept on wanting him to buy drinks and things and he bought a few drinks and all that but you know so uh but yeah he was, he was sort of having, a, having a chat and but after a while he realized nice guy went around he said hello to everyone shook everyone's hand give everyone hugs and stuff and then and then chipped off no chicken was dispersed he didn't distribute the chicken at all <laughs> he offered the chips and that and the, 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 no chicken but then again I'd have probably done the same I bet he took Took the uh, the chicken to the room and had a feast amongst himself. So, but that was really cool. It's just the way he came in. I have food. I have food for you all. I have chicken. <laughs> it's absolutely brilliant. So, yeah. So it was really, really cool. Really fantastic. So we carried on drinking until, until basically the bar shut, and then um, that was that. Really old school and Binty went on their way, 
and uh, it was just a fantastic night. Saturday night was absolutely fantastic. It's almost like two, two little holidays. They had the Friday night, which was really cool, and sociable and everything, and then old school come down for the Saturday, so I got to spend some time with me mucker, and it was really, really cool, really, 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 really chuffed that he came down and and made the effort to sort of come down and and, and been there too. It was really cool. Really enjoyed it. It, was, it felt it felt like you know. It's because we're like the three amigos, you know, and uh, <laughs> missing me amigos, like you know. So anyway, uh, the morning after, so we've come down and um, come down in the morning for our breakfast again. Dave's just there. He's like he ain't been out all weekend. He looks fresh. He's he's wants another beer, but I don't think they're serving quite so early. <laughs> like you know, I don't know how he does it. So we're chatting to everyone else. Uh, Lewis and Scott and all that and uh, holsters coming down and you know we're all sort of chatting in the sort of foyer and all that and they were sort of saying oh uh, Stu and Rob you know they they, they, they came in late um, they said Rob's in the right state I thought well I've never seen Rob in a state to be honest and, like, every time you see Rob um, he's always like to, to me he always looks like he's straight out of GQ magazine he's always very well presented <laughs> extremely well dressed nice nice threads and I've never seen Rob in, in, in a bad way. Like you know, he always looks like he's straight out of, in in the centre of GQ. Very very well dressed, very well presented uh, guy. He didn't look that great that morning. The first time I seen him like that, he was in a he was in a bad state. He was um he was shaking by the time he came down. He was so shaking, and trying to sleep on the sofa. He was uh he was not in a bad way. I, I uh, uh, you know, if you'd have found him on a night out, you'd have been ringing the police and getting them to have a look over it, look at him. Like you know, he he was a uh, he was in a bad old way. But uh, I think once he had a bit of food and a bit of a bit of coffee and all that, he was he was a lot better. I know he likes to drink his coffee and the old the old caffeine. So I think he needed a few caffeine, a few coffees to get to wake up a bit. But in the morning, I've seen Rob in a state I've never seen Rob in, in, in before. And and Stu, you know, Stu looks right as rain, you know, after coming in like that on the Friday, um, then, then then being like that on the Sunday, it's like I was, he was just like nothing was really wrong, you know. Rob, Rob got the sort of you, you know the you know that he looked like he'd been out real heavy on the on the on the Saturday, you know. So uh, yeah, and then it was all all much to a sort of close. Um, I, I sort of had a few bits that. Ended up with it, that was a bit of a, a mad thing. I ended up with things for different people, so I ended up with uh, a, a, a B and O TV from uh, Steve for Stu in our car, and then someone else gave me a C sixty four tape recorder to give to Stu. But apparently, I think Stu brought that for someone else, and it just ended up doing the rounds and going back to Stu. I'm not, I'm still not one hundred percent sure what happened with that. But um yeah so, but yeah what a fantastic time arcade clubs really really cool, gutted that it's not closer because it's like a four or five hour drive for us here so we um we won't be attending that as much as we'd like if it was if it's on our door so we'd be there every weekend, um but yeah they're supposed to be opening another one, um I think they're supposed to be opening another two I'm hoping they do something down the southwest to be honest. Um, but they're doing one not too far from Mark and Gareth's sort of neck of the woods, um, apparently, and that's opening like in a month's time. Um, I think them lads are possibly going to the opening of that. I, I would like to go, but like I say, uh, I'm not really going to be doing anything now till Revival, which I believe is on the 15th and 16th of June. Uh, we'll be sort of sh uh, flying the flag for Revival, because, uh, well, it's Revival for me is the, the best event, like, you know. Um, you know, there's only been one revival which didn't li live up to scratch, and that's many revivals ago now, <laughs> and and there was reasoning for for that because Craig did explain to me, um, but obviously not knowing what goes on behind the scenes, you don't really know. You just as in as good as what it should be. But every time since I've been about how many times I've been now since that, three or four. So every every revival since that has um, been been up to par and on, on scratch and, and, and better every time you know uh, always the big ones are the best and the little ones sort of um are just a little bonus like you know a little bonus level so uh all right youtube like comment share and subscribe um i'll probably do uh me revival pickups and the pickups leading up to revival video uh after this one so 
Uh, take it easy, YouTube. Like, comment, share and subscribe. We'll see you soon. Cheers.